We're here to do it all. For Din Din. For Din Din tonight is a food and wine dinner. We had this chicken spinach artichoke dip last year. We loved it. So we're getting it again. We got this last year, but it was so good. It was He's also, also very uh, dedicated to our stickers. I'm dedicated to stickers like crazy. So don't touch my stickers. Okay, try a bite. I need some of the drippings on top of the almonds. Spinach artichoke dip messes my stomach up, but guess what? It's hot. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm still gonna eat it. Delicious. Really good. No, they're the spinach artichoke dip. How is it? Really good. I want it. It's probably so good. It's so delicious. Katie, say hi to the vlog. The chicken has more Katie, flavor. come hang out with us. Sarah has been waiting months and months to finally get herself the Berber style beef tenderloin tips with onions, jalapenos, tomato, and pep. There it is. Let's go get it. All right, here we are. It's very juicy. And I like pep. It reminds me of like grits almost. Yeah. Did we got this last year, didn't we? Yeah. That's how you knew you loved it so? Let's just take a. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it just like you remembered? Hot. It's really, really hot. Good, right? You heard it here first. That's my number one favorite item from Food and Wine 2018 so far. It beats out the skirt steak and the dessert at Ireland. I literally would pay $25 to get a full entree version of that. Yeah. The seasoning, the spicy seasoning on the on the the beef tenderloin is so good and it was cooked perfectly. And I love grits and I love like it's like grits. It's a cross between the pap on the bottom is like a cross between grits and like quinoa almost. So very good. If you're if you're sensitive to spice, don't get it, but it's not spicy. It's got jalapeno. Yeah, but it's not really like for people who, who eat spicy stuff, it's not very spicy. It's got good seasoning kind of a spice, not like a pepper kind of spice. Good choice, Sarah. Big chunks. Big chunks. Peter got the beer flight and has all of these lovely beers. I've actually gotten the, the Zwick, Zwickel Pilsner unfiltered last year, but someone told me down in the comments I should get the pomegranate Schopenhauer. So we got the flight. On our favorite table. I'm gonna try to name all these. Okay. This is the one I had last year, the Rattenberger Zwickel Pilsner, which is unfiltered, but it doesn't, it's fine. Usually the unpilsner, it's, there's like a layer of um, schmutz on the bottom. Very hoppy and delicious. I'm a big hoppy, hoppy beer drinker. This is the Hecker Schmorsch Haifa Weiss Nettenbrook. No idea. Citrusy. I like it, but I think this is going to be my favorite. The pomegranate chocolate hopper. I love pomegranate. And I had to do all those big sips because I want to walk with this and not spill it. Can I throw this away? Yeah. Um, pomegranate's my favorite. Delicious. Does yeah. it just taste like the, the holidays? The is the most beery beer one. So if you're like a, a genuine beer drinker, <laughs> do the un unfiltered. Oh, I almost dropped the whole thing. Good thing you did not. <laughs> she just looks like really different. Look at all that bread. But I will give you a bread because it was perfectly mm. released. Alright, we're at Hops and Barley. Got the lobster. What do you think about the size? I think it's a little better than last year. I think if I remember, we got it last year. It's really tasty, but I wish it was like six times the size. That's $8, all. Eight dollars, right? Eight dollars for that. Kind of messy. We might need a pork. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Let me get in there. We have our friend Kelly over here. We just met her. She watches our videos. Um, but she doesn't want me to put it on camera just yet. So I respect that. <laughs> it's very good. I just ate like a whole chunk of lobster. It tastes like real lobster. That lobster was better than the um, boathouse lobster. Just the meat. 
So if you put that lobster in the appetizer from the boathouse, it'd be the best darn meal I've ever had in my entire life. Well, All right, we're in Morocco getting our favorite must-do water. But from the stand outside, we got the kefta pocket, so tasty looking, and some hummus fries, hummus fries. I wanted these so bad. They were my, one of my fan favorites last year. I don't think we got this, but we've since, since, uh, I want to say since we were in the north side of Chicago, we've eaten a lot of like pita pockets and stuff like that, so we're gonna give it a whirl. We're in the dark abyss, also known as Japan, because there's no lights over here. But we're trying to catch the last 10 minutes of the Vertical Horizon set, because they're, I think they're done playing after today, or tomorrow's our last day. We're not coming here tomorrow, because Halloween Horror Nights. So, it's about 10 minutes halfway through their last set. I want to hear a couple of songs, because my brother used to listen to them all the time. And I just want to relive like my childhood. So we're going to try to catch there before we get our, our last two items, which are going to be desserts. chocolate studio illuminations got delayed it's technically closed but we're gonna see if they'll let us in line because oh it's closed off well on a positive note we ran into our friends Britt and Jared so it was nice catching up with them but Sarah doesn't get her chocolate this trip it's okay I'll be back there's always next time I guess a strange turn of events we're not at Epcot we're back at Disney Springs we thought about maybe going to see a movie but we decided not to so we're gonna hope that Junior Dolly can redeem itself and hopefully it's passing out candy. And also, we had a weird Florida experience. Um, it was that weird thing when we were at Epcot and it was completely dry and we drove to Disney Springs. <laughs> didn't didn't like drive through any rain, yeah. but the ground is absolutely saturated. Yeah, my feet are wet. Okay. I don't see anybody. We're at your deli. And, and, and. Uh, empty again. I think Sarah got a streak of uh, confidence and went to go ask. Food and wine was closed. Giordelli is breaking their morals and they're not giving out samples. So, we're attempting to redeem ourselves by doing something that, have, have you ever done this? Um, no, Jenna did. I would just like get a big bag of candy. So we're doing something neither of us have ever done before and that's we're gonna go to Goofy's Candy Company and make a custom Rice Krispie Treat, AKA we're just gonna cover it probably with everything. Uh, okay, so we don't need to wait in this long line. Because you just take your take your own tree and make it. Alright, since we are new at this, we're gonna stand next to the certificate of the Masters of Candy Science presented to Goofy and we're gonna fill out a create your own treat. So we're gonna do the rice krispie treat, right? Heck yeah. Select one dipping flavor. White chocolate, milk chocolate, or dark chocolate. I eliminate white chocolate. Yes, I was hoping she would do dark chocolate. Okay, additional toppings available at $1 each. Okay, um, I don't want... No um, sprinkles. Oh, well, I kind of want to sprinkle. Do you want I don't know yet, maybe it's a maybe. 
I don't want any uh, chopped nuts. Okay. Um, peanut butter chips, M&M's, graham cracker crumbles, coconut, butterfinger, Oreo, dark and white chocolate chips. Okay, I want coconut, dark and white chocolate chips. I think we should also get butterfinger, butterfinger chips. That's crushed butterfingers. Okay, and I also think we should get cinnamon and sugar. I think we're good. Yeah. And then and select then the drizzle. drizzle. Let's do white chocolate drizzle to spunk up the aesthetic. Oh my gosh, it's great. It's also done in Comic Sans. Which makes her graphic design mine go crazy. I don't know what. Peter and Peter had an AIM. He had Comic Sans. He had a royal blue background with a white, white font. That's how, that's how she knew I was a winner. I'm gonna stand in front of this giant goofy made of jelly beans. We almost got in trouble because they, they don't, we put too many on top of it. But it was only $7.95. Yeah, it was only $7.24. So we thought you get DDC radio pass or pass number discount. Yeah. And they said that they're gonna do it, but I think they're nervous. So <laughs> we shall see. This is gonna be amazing and delicious and huge. Oh my gosh, I'm chasing this cast member, but she's too fast for me. We're back here. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. What are we gonna do? This looks good. I cannot believe this. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Oh, let me flip it. Because, at least show it. Because that's all dark and white chocolate chips. <laughs> then you've got your crushed, your crushed buttercups. The cinnamon and sugar. Butter cups, it's butter fingers. Butter fingers, cinnamon sugar, coconut, white drizzle, best thing ever. Let's be honest, Sarah's the biggest sweet tooth in town and I'm her assistant. So uh, we got a fork and knife, we're all sandwich, covered in case it starts raining. Let's set up this time lapse and uh, this time lapse is not going to be sped up, this is going to be real time on how fast we eat this. Yeah, this is going to be great. curveball tonight, everybody. I think I need to drink a water. But I devoured mine like a <laughs> hideous beast in record time. And Sarah is uh, bringing that home. Part of me thinks she doesn't want to finish it because she actually she wants the treat for tomorrow too. It's very rich. That was probably the best deal and treat, one of the best treats I've ever had in Disney property. Yeah. But like, I can't believe I've spent the past... And we had extra charges. We had extra charges. Those are all the toppings. That was the best $7 I've ever spent in Disney World. Okay, I'm not... I'm not the biggest fan of this, this boy band. But when they play this song, it just gets my grooves on. Ooh! So we're home now, and we mentioned this hat, which is super cool, Wally. Our friend Amy sent us the hat, and also she sent us this stuff. This is for Sarah, she said specifically, because it's chocolate, hot chocolate, since Sarah doesn't drink coffee. But look at these DeLuna Coffee International blends. So I'm going to do one of these tomorrow morning, because I'm working from uh, home tomorrow, actually. Matt got a, a haircut today. Looking fresh back there. Got a bone, too. Matt put that in there. Oh. <laughs> And Eve is super sleepy. I thought you've got a present. <laughs> Eve has gotten presents before. We're gonna say it's good to be home because I'm nervous about how in horror nights I need to go to bed and sleep off my worries. Eve will save us. This time tomorrow, it's 11.37 p.m. This time tomorrow, exactly 24 hours right now, I'll probably be screaming my face off. At least well, I'll be in good company. Yes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>